at 530 big changes when it comes to future mask wearing in Indian River County schools. Students in schools there that have low numbers of COVID cases will be allowed to take the masks off. WPTV News Channel 5's John Shaman caught up with the superintendent about the plan moving forward. At Storm Grove Middle School, students around campus and in the classroom are wearing their masks. It's mandatory for all K through 8 students in the county right now with no parental opt out. But soon, if COVID cases come down, so can the masks. Moving away from this wide sweeping um, mandate for all schools to follow throughout the entire county and implementing something that is fluid and responsive to the realities at each individual school. The board late Tuesday approved the plan put forth by Yesterday. Superintendent Dr. Very David similar. Moore. It's a tiered approach based on the percentage of students and staff testing positive for COVID. If cases are under 1%, masks are optional. 1 to 2% masks would be highly recommended indoors. 3 to 4% masks would be required with apparent opt out. Over 5% face coverings would be required with only a medical opt out. And in that case, masks would also be mandated at the school for at least 10 days. We may not have to ever be in that medical opt out for a particular school. But when the data says you're on the verge of losing free and appropriate public education, the system needs to be able to respond locally to act in the best interest of those children. The board meeting had mask supporters and opponents outside and inside stating their case. I asked Dr. Moore if he felt the board's move would be in violation of state directives where the governor instituted a ban on mask mandates. The school board is acting with the authority that is provided to them through the Florida's Constitution, which allows them to make appropriate decisions based on the reality here in our county, in our school system. The new plan takes effect for kindergarten through eighth graders starting on Monday and in the high schools at the end of the month. In Indian River County, John Shane, the WPTV News Channel 5.